Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video. Guys, this is Sampath. You're watching Sampath Sanfx YouTube channel, and this is the Pixel Experience Android 11. As you can see, still Android 11. Yes, there is Android 12 version recently out, official one. But I have been checking this one now from almost like 24 hours. I'll be sharing my experience, what all the bugs, features, and how is it comparable with Android 12. Everything going to be explained. And if you're first time to this channel, hit that subscribe button and also follow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like guys and this is a pixel experience with android 11 for poco x3 nfc surya kernel whatever you call and the kernel used here is 4.14.10 perf surya kernel and the build date is 21 sorry it's like 11 o 2021 this was the last build of android 11 for pixel experience and let's and this is the CPU throttling test I have been running from last 5 minutes you can check out here maximum is 151 and the minimum is 147 and sorry average is 147 and minimum is 135 and CPU no CPU throttling detected you can see the graph here it's excellent almost filled with green only here and there there are little bit of peaks but overall it's in very good performance in my opinion I will not show all the DRM info or safety net whatever and one thing I really liked here is the dark mode implementation first thing I will start with that itself because in Android 12 trust me I have tried so many ROMs but and dark mode in implementation is not so good as this one you can check out here even in quick settings panel or even in the settings panel it's pitch black condition that's I really like with Android 11 still this kind of implementation should happen in Android 12 so I will wait for it and this is how the app drawer you will get all are in pitch, pitch black conditions I will disable the dark mode and I will show you how it looks actually as you can see and let's see the basics like dialer how it is you will get direct video call feature in this room no need to worry, worry about that and going into the call recording you won't get any call recording here that's how it is the smoothness in the ui is also very very good you can see here switching between apps and opening app openings like this as you can see app openings are pretty fast here that's not the case in android 12 roms yeah i agree many roms are available in android 12 and latest and greatest we need always but if i had a pogo x and i only have this device and i want to flash around i would have flashed this rom apart from me i am telling i would have flashed this pixel experience and 11 i like simple things in this rom and there's also one more thing i want to notice like i want to tell like these icons how colorful they are in android 12 that's been gone yeah i am telling it really in the android 12 you will just see icons with no colorful this like i felt like it's a downgrade i compare with color is there it was plain enough like they had a single color at least later in color was told they implemented like this colors now <laughs> what happened to google i don't know they simply removed the colors and made a single gray or any themed icons colors if you change that you will see in and at all that i really don't like it whatever it is and the quick settings panel is also simple enough they just in android 12 type it's better yeah if you compare with this old traditional type of quick settings it has been changed very well but switching between them i had a problem and the options like you won't get in order to turn on the wi-fi you need to press and hold that that's not the case here you can just turn on the wi-fi separately and mobile data and using this is also very simple while using the apps you will notice more disturbance in and at all this is going to be very cool like if you are in an app in land portrait mode i mean the landscape mode then if you drag like this you will get very good like even you will get notifications aside upper that you will get this line just a single line that's going to be let me show you like that once and just see now i am playing the video in the landscape mode just 
drag like this as you can see if you have any notification you can read here you can replay them and even you can toggle the quick settings from here that is not the case in android 12 i know you guys understood what i am saying app drawer is also smooth enough as of now and going into the settings again here in the battery settings as you can see battery usage you can see here how much it will be up to and screen usage since full charge this layout is little bit better in android 12 but definitely the features are more likely to seen in a main screen itself in android 11 that i really liked here that wasn't the case in android 12 you need to go here and see the battery usage like this the graph everything is there here this is also there in android 12 nothing much of a difference but i wanted to in inform you and battery life is also very very good with this rom with android 11 as you can see 1 hour 57 minutes it's 74 percent i kept it like around 85 or like that in 10 percent you are getting two hours of battery life which is excellent many people ignore using older versions of android this is the benefit you will get i hope you guys understand if you really don't need that latest and greatest then you can come back to this older version of android and use the maximum benefit of the android like i mean the with stability and great battery life let's see into the camera you get this kind of camera application but anyhow you can use any g cam ports and and one more thing which is important in android 12 roms is still there is no solution to flash anx camera in poco x3 as of now in android 12 based roms but if you want to flash anx camera in android 11 it's easy to flash it's going to work with anx camera and with gcam port it's going to be a super the geekbench scores here the single score is like 510 and multi score is 1585 it's not great or anything like that and the kernel user is 4.14190 of surya kernel linux one and you can flash the kernel also here custom kernel to enhance the experience it's also going to be working good and that's all i guess i hope i explained and as you can see the recent apps and you can get the option of taking a screenshot let me go here and take a screenshot and ram management as you can see the ram management is also very very good in this rom and using the earphones like wired earphones is also good the audio quality was really good let me go into settings and show you the sound settings here you get direct sound settings here as you can see me sound enhancer is given you can choose the headphone type and preset it's going to be working fine the audio quality was really good through headphone jack using this rom much better compared to android 12 roms i don't know why but it is what it is and security features you just get a fingerprint unlock there is a face unlock that's really good in my opinion let me add my face just add face unlock and let's check the security options here first i will show you the fingerprint unlock as you can see it's pretty fast this is how the lock scan this is the cool wallpapers i like in android 11 android 12 is also good like bloom or like that but there is no animation okay anyhow let me show you the face unlock here it's pretty fast and as you can see it's very very good and i did not expect it that in android 11 i would simply forgot that it had a face unlock just seeing now i thought this is also a great feature having in android 11 compared to android 12 and do comment down below which is your favorite feature in android 11 and if you are using this rom as a daily driver also comment down your experience as that others will understand how is the performance and google photos you get unlimited storage no problem regarding that into the settings and here system into the gestures you will get three button navigation here and three button navigation until now i am using that and gesture navigation you can enable from here there is only sensitivity adjustment there is no increase in length and radius but anyhow it's a pixel experience from this how and coming into there are some options like advanced restart no optimization profiles and system update is given reset options are given 
in order to reset the Wi-Fi and factory reset you can do from here accessibility menu I will show you here comes the accessibility menu if I enable like this as you can see you will get a small toggle here if you press this you can use here if you are using gesture navigation then you have to swipe twice like this that's difficult that's I liked in Android that I definitely appreciate in Android but here if you want to enable you can use like this with navigation bar then it could be better you can use the volume button and brightness button without sliding without sliding this you can use the brightness up and down you can make and even volume also you can increase and decrease and this is how the pixel experience and 11 i hope i explained everything and apps and notifications you get conversation notification assistant and advanced button and default apps you can change from here if you want to change like color you can change dialer by using true color some people use it you can do it like that and again i want to show you the dark mode here that's one thing i like more as you can see the implementation is really good here and the swiping as you can see opening app drawer and closing app drawer is also really really fast here and if you slow swipe like this you will get a quick settings panel and if you go into settings also it's also quick enough to slide that i really like into display settings let me show you the refresh rate there is a refresh rate option also as you can say minimum and maximum you can adjust from here let me disable dark mode and i kept this match tdm here you get smooth plus extreme if you want you can use hd plus high also and if you use g like gfx tool you can make it out 60 fps let's see how it handles the bgm with smooth plus ultra smoothness is there okay almost three of them attacked me okay come back a little bit front here it's difficult for me to play like this but anyhow and you can see the loudness is also pretty loud here the gameplay is also very very good in my opinion i felt like i should play full match but anyhow i'll come back here okay you need to use this one and google assistant also you can toggle between like this let me show you the charging animation in this room charging rapidly you get like this but i kept 10 watt charger 33 watt charger also I tried the charging speeds are normal nothing bad or nothing great this is how the pixel experience from with Android 11 and you will get the screen recording feature also let me show you as you can see screen record feature is also given in this room that's how and in the conclusion part I will say like if you want a good stable rom then try a one version older than the current version it takes time for android 12 to become like this until that you can use like that i don't say it for everyone but someone who like like this then he can definitely try it out this rom it's very stable enough and that's all guys in this video i hope i explained everything regarding this rom and flashing everything and thank you for watching we'll meet you with 
another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now in order to boot into recovery first turn off the device here we don't get any advanced restart button hence turn off the device once that has been done use the power button and volume up button press them simultaneously once poco logo appears you can remove the power button finger and continuously press the volume up button until it boots into recovery here is the twrp latest recovery for poco x3 enter the recovery select wipe and select advanced wipe and select dialog capture data and swipe here to wipe it later again come back here and select install and select the micro sd card or wherever you downloaded the files and here comes the latest firmware surya global 12.5.4 flash that okay then again come back here and again select the file wherever you downloaded the rom zip file i am here flashing the pixel experience surya 11 this is the last build of android 11 of pixel experience you can check out here it will comes with like we can see 2021 12 5 this is a version of pixel experience and at 11 it takes a little bit of time to flash the rom wait until it gets flashed as you can see rom zip file has been flashed again come back here and again select wipe and select here format data and type here yes later select this tick mark done again go here and select a reboot to system you will be booted into pixel experience and at 11